Welcome back to Houston Life. It's still rodeo season, and next up, the Galveston County Fair and Rodeo kicks off tomorrow at the fairgrounds in Hitchcock. Yeah, we're getting a preview today of the sounds and tastes you will find at the fair. Joining us now, spokesperson Barbara Magania Robertson and musician Peyton Howie. Welcome to you both. It's great to see you. Thank you for having us. We're ready to. We're excited for the for the fair to get kicked off. Well, a lot going on at the fair, including Peyton. You'll be performing at the fair. We were just chatting during commercial break. And and it's pretty staggering some of the things that you have accomplished uh, in your life. Recently nominated Texas Regional Radio's new female vocalist of the year. Congrats. And 2023 Texas Country Music Awards Emerging Artist of the Year. Wow. It, it was singing something that you knew as a young child you wanted to dedicate your life to doing? Oh, yeah. I was I was the kid that was running around the house and everyone's like, oh, shut up. You know, I just like, <laughs> oh, they still do. But I was a kid doing so. But, yeah, no, music's always just been something, uh, you know, you let come from the soul. And, and Barbara Peyton, I mean, she's being courted. Like, American Idol wants her, The Voice, all these reality singing shows want her. You snatch her up for the fair. How big of a get is that for you and, and the event? We're so excited. You know, the Galveston County Fair really does their due diligence to bring the best of the best. And obviously, Peyton is here with us. And so we're excited that she's going to be part of our lineup. I mean, w tonight, we actually have a sneak peek night. And it's free, so you can come out, enjoy the carnival, um, you know, get your armband, but you can. it's free to get in. And then tomorrow night, we can off with like one of the per people who she always works with, Aaron Watson. Wow. So between the rodeo and the entertainment lineup, we're in for a big year. Yeah. Wow. Okay. With Aaron Watson as well. I mean, that's some star power right there. And one of the reasons why you want to bring in some of the best talent is because this is not just a fun activity, Barbara, but it really is a fundraiser. It is. You know, my, and I love the way you say that because we have 11 different livestock shows and then we have the big auction. Last year alone, we bought in over a million dollars with our auction that we had, but it also doesn't even go dip into what we are doing for the scholarships. So we're helping the kids at the Galveston County Fair and Ga Galveston County area, you know, achieve their educational goals. And people like her, they're willing to, you know, come out and, and be part of our entertainment. You're already helping just getting through the gate. Yeah, absolutely. And Peyton, you've toured all over, so performing a rodeo and a fair, you know, it's probably really exciting raising all the money. Um, what What is next for you? You're, you're performing, is this your passion? Is this what you're loving to do? Yeah, so I mean, I love getting to share music with everybody and getting to play is so much fun. And like you were saying, rodeo season, we've played uh, tons of rodeos. I also got to play the Houston Rodeo. And then um, I have a brand new single that I'm dropping on May 10th called Ramblin' Woman. Very cool. Congratulations. Thank you very See, much. I think that your life to a lot of people like us, it seems glamorous, right? But when you play a gig or when you record an album, there's so much schlepping you have to do. You've got to show up early and do mm -hmm. the sound check. You've got to drive a lot. I mean, your life is not exactly glamorous, but at the end of all of the schlepping, you got to look great and sound great on stage. This is something that you are so dedicated to. What is uh, something like the Galveston County Fair and Rodeo? How does this venue compare to other gigs you've played? I would, I'm really excited to get to play this because if you look at the lineup of, of just musicians, I guess for me being kind of a music nerd, I'm like, oh my gosh, but you know, seeing people that um, I've had the opportunity to work with and people that I haven't, but um, am looking forward to working with, like, like Colby Cooper we're getting to open up for and um, just seeing the, the amount of passion and the amount of like intention that they have to make this a great show or make this a great rodeo, whatever. And for the people that are showing up, it's going to be super cool. So I'm just honored to get to be part of it. Yeah, well, representing for our uh, female musicians for sure. So that's oh, yeah. awesome. And then Barbara, you know, getting people there, it's really important. People that maybe didn't get their fix, maybe they weren't, you know, they need more rodeo in their life. I mean, you're encouraging to come out because at the end of the, of the day, it is raising money for students and the money stays local. It, it stays local. But my thing is when you come in with your ticket, you get through the you get to see the entertainment, you get to see the you know the, the actual singer, you get to see the rodeo, and you get to have all these great foods. I mean, you tried the treats. The, the, yeah, the oh, pickles. So good. We're about to do the gourmet um, apples. So uh, it's a big time, and it's always good. It's good, a good cause. Absolutely. Also, uh, rodeo action, carnival rides, livestock judging contests, seafood and barbecue cook-off competitions, and there's a boots and garden wine tent as well, Barbara. Ooh. You made that just for Tessa and me, right? <laughs> Absolutely. And this year, we've gone international. So 
So you just come listen to the good music and um, enjoy some wine. It, you know, don't don't put away your boots yet. Just come on out. Okay. okay. The weather's perfect for it. It is. It's, yeah. it's a perfect weekend, and it runs until the 20th. So Barbara Magania Robertson, sit tight because we're gonna get some caramel apples in just a moment. And Peyton Howie, it's great to meet you. You're gonna perform live for us, right? Absolutely. Okay. We'll yes. let you get ready for yes, that yes, yes, right yes. now. In the meantime, <laughs> as Peyton gets ready, here is more info about this year's Galveston County Fair and Rodeo, which, as a reminder, runs starting tomorrow, Friday, April 12th through Saturday, April 20th. And as Barbara just mentioned, there is that preview party happening tonight at the sneak fairgrounds. Peek. Sneak peek starting tonight. Okay, I love a little sneak peek, but without further ado, let us introduce you again to Peyton Howie with her brand new single, Ramblin' Woman. Walking into the bar, a man on a mission with a stone cold heart. He's a love him and leave him. Lord, he was born that way. And I'm a sweet talking son of a gun. Ain't got no settle down, keep my heart on the run. I'm a love him and leave him. You ain't seen nothing like my getaway. I'm a rambling woman who ain't afraid of messing with a rambling man. Nobody can kick a trail of dust up like I can Before you even think to hit the road I got your money at the mattress and I left you in blood If there's one thing a rambling man don't see coming It's a rambling woman You're gonna mess with my heart, mess with your mind You finally made your match, it was about dang time Oh, bless your heart Cause I'm a, yeah, I'm a rambling woman Who ain't afraid of messing with a rambling man Cause ain't nobody can kick a trail of dust up like I can Before you even think to hit the road I got your money at the mattress and I left you in nut If there's one thing a rambling man don't see coming is a rambling woman Be sure to go check out Peyton at the Galveston County Fair and Rodeo. Wow, that is fantastic. It's all happening at Jack's Brooks Park in Hitchcock, Texas. Okay, Very and nice. speaking of the fair, I'm a fan, by the way. I'm already following her on Instagram. And speaking of the fair, Savannah Smith, owner of Munchos Bakery, is here. She'll show us how she makes her award-winning apples. All right, Houston Life will be right back. Don't go away. Welcome back. We have moved into the kitchen after that awesome performance. And now we're getting a preview of the tasty treats you'll find at the Galveston County Fair and Rodeo. Yeah, Muncho's Bakery is no stranger to the fair life. This year they took home third place for best food on a stick with their cowboy caramel apple at Rodeo Houston. The owner, Savannah Smith, joins us now with, again, Barbara Magania Robertson to show us how she makes these award-winning apples. Okay, that's a huge honor uh, to take home the top prize because there's so much great fair food out there. What do you think it is about your apples that set it apart? 
Well, um, I would have to say it's the way that we serve them. So we slice them up, little bite-sized pieces, oh. and they get to carry it around in a little container. Oh, so okay. That is a great idea. So whenever they're walking around and they pass our booth, they're like, how are we going to eat that? They're yeah. easy to eat that way. We solved your, your problem. Your functional so, fair food because exactly. it's bite-sized. Okay, that's a that's just, yeah, making right. people's lives easier is right. already so a hack yeah, itself. So yeah, everybody comes around and they're like, where's the caramel apple in a cup? Well, were you always into this idea of gourmet? I mean, are you naturally making sweets? in the kitchen? Is this something that happened organically? How did it happen? Yes, yeah, so I actually started it in college. Wow. Got me through college and then um, I added the caramel apples later on about two years later. Okay. So in 2020 we started it and um, it has taken off especially during fair time. Yeah. That's really cool. Wait, so it helped you pay for college then? Yeah, so the caramel apples actually didn't. I started with decorated sugar cookies but this just led me into the gourmet life in my bakery, and so I've been doing it now for eight years. So you've Welcome always been making laughter. beautiful, creative, delicious <laughs> right. foods. Can you tell us about some of these flavors you have up here? Sure. So I will actually, we're going to be making uh, my award winner, the Berry Crunch. Ooh. Um, and then we're also going to be making our cereal bowl, which is topped with Fruity Pebbles. Yum. Ooh, yeah. Okay. And we're you ready trust for us it. to do this. Yeah, I'm Absolutely. ready. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Wonderful. Yeah. So I've already have the caramel apples ready to go. They've already been pre-dipped. What we're going to do is we're going to take uh, the white chocolate okay. and we're going to dip them in there. You're going to grab these spatulas okay. and whenever y'all dip them in, whoa. Oh wow, you're not shy okay. about that at yeah, all. You gotta no, really no. dip. So I dip right it in. all the way around. That's beautiful. I like beautiful. to dip it all the way in and I scrape it. So. And you've got okay. a double boiler there, is that I right? Do. And that's yes, so the I chocolate do. doesn't scald? Uh, we've already previously heated this up, okay. but yeah, so I'm just gonna actually hand this to one of y'all. Okay. Yeah. I want to try to dip, sure. actually. Oh, okay. Just throw it in there. Yeah, okay, Barbara, go ahead. have you tried these, Barbara? I have not tried them, but you know, they, per, they pair oh, very look, well it. with our wine room that we yeah. have at the Galveston County Fair. And so it, it really, we have something for everyone. Derek, Derek this is hard. She made it look well. so easy. Very well. Just yeah. scrape it off, yeah, and then scrape the bottom. Okay, scrape the bottom. There oh, you, you did go. it so much better. You that's okay, that's okay. Girls. Girls. I'm great. I feel, I feel good. Well, this I think Savannah did most of the work for us, to be fair. Okay, yes, true. Yeah, dip it that perfect. How does this look, Savannah? That's I actually cover it all the way on top. Oh, all the way on top? Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow, okay. You know what? If, if Galveston County Fair gave a uh, foodie award, you'd be winning. I, I, I promise you. Right. Derek. Oh, yeah. oh, you're Absolutely. so sweet. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> totally not. I'm true. gonna keep That's dipping we as well. I'm proud and of us. We're yeah, we're gonna let um, do another berry crunch and okay. another fruity pebble. Okay, I'll do a berry crunch. This also, time, it berry. smells so delicious. If someone were to try dipping it in white chocolate at home, Savannah, yeah. do they need to just melt white chocolate on a double boiler, or do you add like a coconut oil or anything right. to it? Right. So I actually don't. No, I just take um, just caramel melts and I melt them, and uh, we stick it right on. I mean, we just dip it right in there. Wow. I don't add anything to it now. You don't prep um, the apples at all either. Aside from the washing apples them. are certainly prepped. Yes, they're prepped, and then obviously we have to dip the caramel at a certain temperature. That's kind of how. You, that's why I took the initiative on dipping them already because it's it. very finicky. But um, but the chocolate part though, it's yeah, it it's super simple. We just each one of them, we take it, we dip it. Here, try it again. Okay, oh I'm gonna gosh. try it again. Okay, as yeah, Tessa right continues in. plunging Dipping in, in this other go. apple, uh, Savannah <laughs> Smith, Barbara Magania Robertson, Perfect. thanks to the both of you. By the way, keep an yeah. eye out for Savannah's delicious apples at this year's Galveston County Fair and Rodeo. It's good stuff, award-winning. We're okay. so excited. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dunk my face in this after the, yeah. after the break. Yeah. Okay.